Hello Minions, Wheezy here, and before I get into the gameplay part of this video, I want to bring you up to speed on a couple of things, and I want to get you in my Discord server, or at least get you access to me in such a way that you can come play Modern Warfare with me. So for those of you who don't know, Call of Duty recently released Warzone, which is its Battle Royale mode, completely for free across all platforms, PC, Xbox, PS4. You can go and download this right now for free, and come and play with me, because I want you to play with me, Giggity. I need it. Hard and fast. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, I want you to join and come and play Call of Duty with me. For those of you who are still around the channel or got here in the first place, whatever, 10 years ago, this playing Call of Duty with friends or playing video games in general with friends is what this channel is built around, and that's what I want to get back to. So I want you guys to come play with me. This is free. Come do it. If you have the full game, it, uh, you can you can also come and play with me. For those of you who don't know, Modern Warfare is completely cross-play enabled, which means that I'm, when you add me at my Activision ID, and I'm going to show you that in a second, you guys can come and play with me no matter what platform you're on. So I play mostly on PS4, right? That's where I have the full game for. Um, but um, if you're on Xbox, if you're on PC, you can still play cross-platform with me. Like, that's so awesome because I lost so many of my gamer friends when I moved from Xbox 360 to PS4. Um, so this, come do it, all right? So, and for those of you who don't know, in addition to my YouTube channel, I also have a website that I try to maintain. Um, it's a little immature right now, but it's okay. Beside the point. Point is, I'm gonna put links to this stuff in the description here, but also, if you wanna get to it, come to wheeziesgaming.com. That's pretty simple, right? Wheeziesgaming.com. And here you can see, I got this little plugin where it shows my Discord server on here. So you can actually see who's in my Discord, right? And, um, excuse me. Ah. And if you click on Discord on here, you can download Discord, get a profile if you don't have one. It's super easy, super fast. It's not going to cost you anything or anything like that. And this basically allows you to get in contact with me. It's basically like a text messaging app. Matter of fact, here I'll pull up my, I have it open right now. This is my Discord. Right, so if you're in the Wheezy's Gaming Discord server, then these notifications get sent to my phone. If you guys message me, this is when I say, hey, I'm about to go streaming, I'm about to upload a video. Hey, who wants to come play? So join my friggin' Discord. That's gonna be getting more advanced as we go too. But that's, that's one thing that I wanna talk about. Join the Discord. And then, once you've got Call of Duty, once you've got Modern Warfare, what, however you have it, add me on Activision, this is my Activision ID. I went to the Activision website, there's no way to actually view this full number that you need to add me unless you look at my profile page that has like my phone number and my address and stuff like that. I'll give that to you guys if you want it, but right now I didn't think that was a good idea. So this is my Activision ID, Wheezy, hashtag, number sign, pound, whatever you call it, 1353276. And why has it got those crazy numbers? Because the Activision account is cross-platform. PS4, PC, Xbox. I asked for Wheezy and then they just appended a number to it, right? Just because it does, they can't necessarily guarantee me who's got Wheezy on whatever platform. So this is my Activision ID. Add that and I will get notified, right? That you want to be my friend and then we can play cross-platform Call of Duty, get in chat and talk and have good times, right? So that's, that's the number one thing. Before you go on into this video, I want you to stop, pause this and go do that right now. Okay, send me an, uh, an invite on Activision. Join the Discord. If you're having trouble joining the Discord or whatever, leave a comment on this video and I will fucking come and help you do this shit because this, this is what's happening. All right, cool. So we got that. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is go through and just play in the background a video that I played um, or a game of Battle Royale that I played with Boom yesterday. Um, and for those of you who haven't been around or don't know, Boom was actually a core member of the Wheezy's, what was it, Minion Craft when I had my, my Minecraft server that I hosted. Boom was one of the players on the Minecraft server. Um, and in my Discord, as I've been talking about, hey, people, join, join my Activision ID and stuff like that. And I just bumped my microphone again. Um, he was like, yeah, dude, let's play. And so we hopped in and he and I jumped in and played this. Um, this was our second game of the Battle of battle Royale yesterday. Um, the first one, it gave us a random teammate who was actually not horrible, but we got knocked out super early on, just kind of bad luck. This one, it didn't give us a teammate, so it was just the two of us, but we did a decent job. Um, 
No spoilers, I guess, but we did okay. Um, and so yeah, so what I want to do now is while this is going in the background, I'll talk to you a little bit about Modern Warfare. In case you're wondering why it's worth going and downloading for free, or if you've been thinking about getting the full game, why I think you absolutely should if you give a shit about, if you've ever given shit about Call of Duty, because, you know what, let's just get right into it. Many of you may know, or maybe, I don't know, I don't, I'm not going to pretend that I know what you know, <laughs> but you might, that I have skipped the last couple of Call of Duties, like I, d at least at launch, right, like so, I don't even necessarily know what they were, like after Black Ops 3, which, was it Black Ops, I don't even know, I don't even remember, did I get Black Ops 3? Yeah, I did, okay, that's this, that's this one. No, that's four. That's Black Ops 4, which I didn't get at launch. I don't even... Modern Warfare... I don't even know if I got Black Ops 3, because it was, like, future stuff. I liked Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 was, like, near future. Black Ops 3... Doesn't matter. The point being, I have been skipping modern, like, Call of Duty games because they've been going into, like, this future zone of shit, and I'm not a big fan of futuristic shooters. Although some of you know that I'm, I like Destiny, which it may seem like a conflict to you, but it's just a different kind of game. Um... But Modern Warfare, so I'm going to go out and say this just to get it out there up front, even though I'm already rambling. Modern Warfare, the new one, is the best Call of Duty game in the series by far, right? And before that, I would have said it was a close battle between, Modern, or between um, Black Ops 2 and the first Black Ops, um, which I love both of those, or um, Modern Warfare, the original Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 was obviously just like the first Call of Duty in the series that was really great in my opinion. Um, and, you know, it's become ubiquitous. That's what kind of launched the Call of Duty franchise really into being this multiplayer monster that it is now. And Modern Warfare, this new game, Modern Warfare is by far, in my opinion, the best first-person shooter, really. Probably the best first-person shooter I've ever played in the way that I really enjoy the style of it. I like modern weapons. I like tactical gameplay. I don't like long time to kill. I think Black Ops 4 did a lot of like long time to kill. I only got into Black Ops 4 when, what happened? They did like a free to play weekend or something like that for, for the blackout mode. And I tried it and I was like, this isn't half bad. And then I ended up getting the game because the, the like free weekend or whatever was like, oh, okay, Call of Duty's not really as shit anymore. Um, but this is by far my favorite Call of Duty. My favorite shooter, I think. I'm trying to run through my brain and see if there's a shooter that I've played that I've enjoyed more than this. And there's just, I don't think, there's just not. This is like my favorite shooter I've ever played. I, I didn't think this through before I started talking, and I didn't realize I was going to make such a bold statement and then believe it, but I said it. Uh, this is my favorite shooter ever. Um, it's great. Um, and so, if that's not enough, well, I mean, you know, because you guys really value my opinion. If that's not enough to make you want to at least download the free Battle Royale mode, then, okay, I mean... And I know that you're watching in the background. Maybe it's not super exciting, <laughs> right? There's not a whole lot going on in there necessarily. Um, but that's how Battle Royale plays out. For, you've, you guys maybe seen some of my... Uh, posted a couple of just normal gameplay videos. I try and get posting more and more just the normal gameplay videos instead of my highly produced ones just so there's some more content out there. Or for those of you who've seen my live streams recently, Modern Warfare multiplayer is pretty classic Call of Duty, pretty fast-paced. But there's really not a ton of bullshit in it, which is really great because that's what has haunted a lot of um, Call of Duty before is just, there's, you know, they started getting crazy into wall running and all kinds of ridiculous kill streaks and, and the, the things I still get most frustrated about in Modern Warfare are when, you're t when the game is a little lopsided, the other team can tend to chain together a bunch of kill streaks which does get annoying when you're getting harriered seven times in a row, you know, and then they've got AC-130s floating up, and you're just getting fucked by killstreaks. That does not happen often. When it does, it's irritating, but it's still also not game-breaking. It's like, ugh, like, I don't know. There's there's so many things that you can do to combat killstreaks now that the most irritating thing about it is, oh, am I really going to have to change class to my anti-air kit to kill these kill streaks because they're getting so irritating, or can I just continue on playing and let this one time out, right? So 
So even that is already an improvement. Um, you'll see here the time to kill in the Battle Royale mode is, you know, because of the armor plates, longer than you would uh, have in multiplayer. But once, as far as I know, once the armor is broken, it basically plays pretty much like standard um, multiplayer, at least from how the time to kill. So there's a longer time to kill with the uh, with the armor, but that's kind of what you want from Battle Royale, right? You don't necessarily want to, if you've got three plates on, you don't necessarily want to get burned down in half a second just because someone from across the map saw you. Like, for those of you who don't know, there's 150 players in the Battle Royale mode here. The map is, is huge. Um, excuse me, Jesus. Uh, coronavirus, not really, but I don't know. Um, it's a big map. I don't, I don't necessarily know exactly how it compares to Blackout, but it just feels big enough that I don't really even know if I've reached any kind of boundaries on it. And the game does a good job, like Battle Royale modes do, of funneling everybody back together. So when you start out, it's you know very much um, tactical, uh, at least very scroungy where you're going and getting stuff. But um, but then as you get into it, you know it's it's just good. It's just really good. Like I've played. I played some Fortnite, not a bunch. I'm not a big fan of third-person shooters, and Fortnite's a little f fucking nutty for me. Like the platform building, and I'm just, uh, that's why when I got into uh, when Blackout, when I tried Blackout, I really enjoyed the mix of Battle Royale and Call of Duty. Um, to the point where even when I bought Blackout or Blackout Black Ops 4, I didn't really play much multiplayer at all. It just really didn't kind of like call to me. I just really enjoyed the Blackout mode even though I didn't really have many people to play with. Like, it just kind of was entertaining, even dropping in with randoms. It was just really fun. Um, and there's going to be probably a lot coming to Warzone. I just can't imagine it, you know what I mean? Like, the the training tutorial mode that you go through is single. Like, right now, the only Battle Royale mode that they have is three-man squads, 150 players. I, I imagine as they go forward, they'll add in extra modes. Like, they'll add in, you know, solo play Battle Royale like Blackout did. Um, probably some special limited edition modes and stuff like that. So they'll 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 probably do a lot with this. But even as it is right now, for free to play, come jump in, right? Come play. Let's get it's, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good times, fun. Um, what else? So okay, so that's that. You know what? That's a good kind of summary. I think of battle royale. I haven't played much of it yet. It it feels a lot like um, man. We walk right by that supply crate. It's right on the side there. Um, oh no, that's a shopping area. Contact. Um, Getting distracted by my own video. So in, anyway, that's good. That's enough for Battle Royale. So what about the full game? Should you spend money on this game? And if you haven't already guessed my opinion, considering that I already said it's my favorite shooter of all time and the best Call of Duty so far in the series, you can probably guess my answer is yes. But that's my answer. So what's what can I say to make an argument for whether or not you might want to do this? What kind of... Call of Duty games have you liked in the past, if any, right? If you've not really ever liked Call of Duty, then this probably isn't going to really be up your alley. But if there was a time when you enjoyed Call of Duty and lately you've been like, eh, Call of Duty, this is the one to come back to, right? So this feels like a return to form from Modern Warfare, from the original Call of Duty 4. It's just the time to kills are similar, the weapon balance is good. There's not... The, the, you know, there's not the single burst M16 as much. There is, for those of you who've seen some of my live streams or my last video that I talked about, the, like, there are some zero time to kill weapons that kind of irritate me, like the Car 98 and the MK2. I've been playing with the MK2 a little bit. Um, it'll be one of the weapons tactics videos that I do. S weapons that are instant kill do, do tend to bug me in shooters, but they are not overwhelming this game, and it hasn't gotten to the point where it has broken the game or ruined the fun of it. And you come across someone who's using these weapons, and it still isn't isn't game breaking. You know, it's 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 a little irritating, and it makes you kind of have to change up your playstyle to adapt to it. Um, I don't think that's necessarily a horrible thing at all, right? Like, it really helps. Um, there's about to be some fun moments coming up in this building here. Where, so I'll pause. I'll get back to that in a second. But I'm going to call attention to this. So we down that guy. His buddy's still around. I went to throw C4 at him and I threw it out the fucking window. Can you believe that shit? I threw the C4 out the window. So that guy's still down over there. His teammate's nearby. Fucking, fucking genius. First him down. Oh. 
But this, these are one of the things, like, these kind of moments are what makes me fall in love with a game again, right? That guy revived himself, which was scary. I forgot that that was a thing, and he had a revive kit. So, luckily, I got him back down before he came back up. And then, I think we get locked in here in a minute, but... But yeah, this is just the like it's just an enjoyable game and it's just really well done just from beginning to end. And oh, yeah, what the single player. The first thing that I did, which I do with pretty much every Call of Duty, is jumped into single player. Just kind of how I am. Like I'm still like that after all this time. I want to play a single player campaign first before I go jumping into the multiplayer. Usually I want to finish the campaign before I go jumping into multiplayer. Depends on how I'm feeling. But the the campaign in this game is incredible. Like the best, the best Call of Duty campaign by a mile, which is saying something because the Modern Warfare 4, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, the Call of Duty 4 campaign was, uh, was also excellent. Like, I haven't, none of the other ones really, stand, Modern Warfare 2's, yeah, it was pretty good actually. Modern Warfare 2 had a decent campaign and then that multiplayer ended up being a giant clusterfuck despite the fundamentals of the gameplay being really solid in Modern Warfare 2. You guys remember the hacked, the hacked up, unbalanced, you know, akimbo shotgun secondaries bullshit fest that was Modern Warfare 2, you know. But a uh, good campaign. You know, really good campaign in, in Modern Warfare. Um, we go back up here and do another fight. Here's here things get a little bit fun. Let's see. Oh, there's two back there. Guy goes down. That guy's back. C4 this time. Boom. Nailed it. Nailed that one. That one didn't go out the window. Whew, even boom, I don't know if you can hear it. Boom is like, what was that? Like C4, baby. <laughs> Hurled it right up into that corner and killed them both. Um, it, I, yeah, good campaign. Good game. Just good. Just good. Good. There's a lot of good here. So why should you get it? Uh, if you've, do you like, you like good gameplay? You like tight first-person shooters? Do you like games that they, they're doing a good job in, in the multiplayer on this of encouraging teamwork in game modes too um there are some perks you can use to turn skill course kill streaks into score streaks i don't find those very valuable they recently did a tweak to it to kind of make those more valuable but again this is not a kill streak heavy game so previous games that like had to create this balance between kill streak and score streak to try and encourage people to play objectives they really have to do that in this because i haven't seen a ton of kill streak whoring and you will still run into Call of Duty players who jump into objective games and don't play the objective. Like, I had a game yesterday where I'm like, on my headset, we're playing Domination. And at one point, I even had to unmute my headset and be like, you guys realize this is Domination, right? Like, you have to, you have to capture some points. Um, we ended up almost coming back in that game. I don't, know if, I don't know if I woke them up or if they just decided that that was, you know, it was time to play. But it is just, I don't know, it's just, it's just really well done. And, and they seem to be doing a good job of keeping up with the community. I haven't seen, I haven't experienced anything in the game that's really been game breaking, but I have seen a lot of patch notes that they've been rebalancing weapons. And I know there was a lot of complaints early on about the 725 shotgun being, you know, a one hit kill sniper from a long range. And I think they've done some balances to that. I, I still do get one hit killed by the 725 a fair amount, but only at close range. It doesn't have, so I'm assuming it doesn't have the range it used to. Um, the MK2 now f falls in that role, but at close range, the MK2 has to be aimed, um, unlike the 725. I don't even know if I got that right. Um, so there's kind of the two sides of it, right? There's there's still one-hit kill weapons. That still kind of bugs me a little bit, but not so much that... Uh, that it's really that that irritating. So they seem to be doing a good job keeping up. I'm gonna check real quick, see where I am. All right, we're getting we're getting on in the video. Um, it's I, I don't know. I, I I'm trying to think of what else I can say that's really convincing, other than the fact that this has just already been such a great game, and and it's and it's gotten to that level of Call of Duty where I'm excited to play it. I, you know, there's been quite a lot going on in Destiny 2. Um, but Destiny 2 has become very, like, grindy, and that's the kind of game it is. That's not necessarily a criticism of Destiny 2, but the gameplay alone in Destiny doesn't really keep me engaged like it does in Call of Duty, because Call of Duty, again, my style, more of a tactical shooter, every game in Call of Duty feels like I'm being pushed, I'm doing something where I've got to play tactically, I've got to, you know, every encounter matters, where it feels like in Destiny 2 most of what I'm doing is running around doing shit that 
is super easy that doesn't really make a big difference to try and get gear that's good enough to make it easier to do other things that also don't require a ton of skill they just require a lot of equipment um and that's where i've been splitting a lot of my time recently partly because i got a google stadia and along with the stadia pro subscription that came when i got that um it came with all of the destiny 2 expansions which got me kind of back into playing that little more and destiny 2 going free to play um has kind of you know got me back into at least keeping my characters at level cap even though i haven't done a single raid in destiny 2 yet um because again i lost my whole play group that i used to play destiny 1 raids and stuff with so so yeah i mean again this is just my style call of duty my style this modern warfare just it just kind of has everything that you want from a modern shooter right it's got the multiplayer lockdown which is good black ops you know call of duty 4 or black op call of duty fucking shit black ops 4 blackout and just black ops 4 in general didn't really have like the whole package like it had the multiplayer was all right wasn't wasn't really gripping me the way modern warfare's did modern warfare's got the multiplayer unlock Battle Royale was cool in Blackout. Um, this one, I think, is better already. I mean, it's it's hard to tell this early on, right? But already out of the gate, I like this better. Um, there was no campaign in Black Ops 4. They just were like, fuck it, we're not doing that. Modern Warfare has a fantastic campaign. Like, value for money in Call of Duty, this is just beginning to end. Campaign, multiplayer, and now this free-to-play Battle Royale mode, like... They're doing it. And yeah, there's a lot of microtransaction stuff in this game, but it's not oppressive and it's not game-breaking, right? You go through the different seasons and the weapon unlocks, the like the entirely new weapons are free for anyone. You just have to go through whatever it's... And they don't push it real high. Like there's 100 levels every season and you unlock both of the weapons for every season by like rank 31 or 32, which doesn't require a huge investment. I'm I don't have time to play a ton, lately and i'm you know not having a trouble just playing a couple night you know a couple hours a week and at least over the course of the whatever it is 45 days that the season is um getting ranked up enough to unlock the weapons so so they're not trying to screw people on microtransactions for those of you who watched my live stream the other day um i spent my first money on um on a digital download for modern warfare they did this t what do they call it uh tamagunchi or whatever like it's a knockoff of the old tamagotchi pets like it's like the tamagunchi watch and actually if you see it in this you see it's on my it's on my you see it in the video right down there it's on my wrist little tamagunchi watch um and it also came with a little dinosaur weapon uh thing like what do they call those the tokens i forget exactly what they call it the little thing you can hang on the side of your weapon um, a little dinosaur for that and like an emblem and, and, a, and an animated, you know, player card. Um, but it was 10 bucks, which is honestly a little steep for that. I gotta be honest, but, but it was just like, I gotta have it. Like this was, this was like what I needed. And I say 10 bucks. It was what, like a thousand, a thousand coins, a thousand call of duty <laughs> coins credits, um, which it was 10 bucks to buy what? 1100 tokens or whatever it was so but i did it i was just like no i gotta have the dinosaur stuff like i'm just an, I'm, i, I needed i needed the tamagunchi watch and the dinosaur uh token why can't i fucking think of that word right now anyway um but like i said that stuff's not you know it gives me no advantage it's just cosmetic um you can buy like weapon blueprints which again the, the worst thing that a weapon blueprint does is give you early access to a weapon's attachments. Like, that's it. If you get, like, a legendary blueprint, I was like, that guy just kind of leapt out of the sky. I didn't even, I thought that was boom. Um, all, all of the blue, all the blueprints do, other than giving you, like, a, a cosmetic thing, like a special skin, which can be really cool. Um, all they do is give you a preset loadout of attachments on the weapon. And if you haven't reached the weapon level where you have unlocked that attachment yet, you still get to use it with that blueprint. That's all it does. If you unlock all of the attachments for that weapon, even if you don't have that blueprint, you can equip the exact same weapon. It just doesn't get the name, and it won't have the special skin texture applied to it. Like, that's it. So that's a big, that's a whole lot of talking about stuff to say that the microtransactions in Modern Warfare are not... Um, oppressive are not exploitative and 
to the point where it won enough goodwill with me that when something came up that I was like, oh my God, I got to have that. I got to have a Tamagunchi. I didn't feel bad about it because it doesn't feel like they're trying to screw me. Um, and for those of you who have bought like the whatever, super duper expensive ones, you know, versions of the game that give you access to some of this stuff, then I'm sure you're, I'm sure you're probably happy with that, that purchase. I don't necessarily want to spend double on this game to get a lot of digital content, um, but I can see the, the appeal of it. No spoilers here, but this game's about to come to an end. You might be able to tell by the timeline. As I make a mistake, I, have, I didn't, wasn't thinking at the time. I have two Semtex here, and I know there's two guys in here because I saw them. And I just walked in thinking that the 60 rounds in that gun or 50 rounds in that gun were going to get me through that firefight. I should have led with the Simtex and flushed them out. So anyway, we got, I think we got fifth in this. It was a ton of fun. I, I rambled on for 20 plus minutes for like the first time in forever, which feels kind of good. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and keep getting stuff going. Going back to the beginning. Guys, add my Activision ID. There, you can see in the corner. See? Look, there it is up, up there. Wheezy, one, three, five, three, two, seven, six. Add me Activision ID, play. I don't care what platform you're on, let's play together. Boom was playing on PC when we did this. Keyboard and mouse on PC. Dudes, come play with me. Come fly with me. Look, see it froze. I fixed the thing where it drops back to the dashboard now, so it just goes right back to the frozen screen. King is still asleep. Okay. Come and play with me, please. I love you guys. Take it easy, Wheezy. Take it easy, Wheezy. Beezies. <laughs> Bye, minions. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>